the idea of a fillet of oven baked fish might conjure up the words bland, pale and colourless in your mind. And well, yes I guess it is. So how can we plate and present baked fish so that it looks more appealing and exciting? This is the question we're going to explore today. The first thing that came to mind when I thought about this was to make a vibrant puree to plate with the fish. I had a look in my fridge and I found a bag of carrots, so I got to work making a simple bright orange carrot puree. I had this idea that I could match something pale and bland with something bright and vibrant. Colours play such an important role in plating and presentation. Even something simple in the right colour can totally transform a dish. Before we can start having a play around with plating ideas, we need to prepare some fish to bake. Fish doesn't take very long to cook, so it's hard to get some colour on it in the oven. One idea I had to compensate this was to add a crumb topping. I've got a basic crumb here. Some breadcrumbs, crushed garlic, grated parmesan cheese and some chopped parsley. The parsley adds some colour which is exactly what we want for our otherwise bland fish. Next I'm going to prepare the fish pieces. This is gurnard but any white fish fillet will work. I'm cutting it into a few different sizes for a few different plating ideas. Spread some mustard on each piece. This makes a great glue for sticking the crumb onto the fish. And it also adds a nice mustard flavour. You could use a mayonnaise here instead if you wanted to. Now we can pop it into a hot oven for about 8 to 10 minutes to cook through. While that's in the oven, another way we can cook our fish is to bake it in a sauce. Today I thought I'd make a creamy lemon sauce. I've got some fresh full cream here with a squirt of mustard. Then I'll add some butter and a squeeze of lemon juice. Microwave this for about 30 seconds and then give it a mix around. If the butter isn't fully melted, you can put it back for a little longer. Put the fillets into a baking dish and salt them. Then sprinkle over some finely chopped onions or shallots. This adds some more delicious flavour to the dish. Now we can pour over the sauce. That's all there is to it. Put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes to cook through and let it work its magic. It's well known that lemons and fish go well together. So today I'm going to fry some slices to develop the flavour some more. This will make a great garnish for when we come to plating it. I'm just using a lemon I've already zested, so it has that slight scalloped edge to it too. I think the charred lemon will add some depth of flavour, but it will also add some more colour to our bland fish plate. Let's plate up the first idea. I'm going to use a black plate. It's about the biggest contrast to white fish I can find, so it's a great place to start. Then I'm going to add a generous blob of carrot puree and drag my spoon through it for added visual appeal. Doesn't that colour look so vibrant? Next I'm going to add some steamed green beans. They're an easy addition and green colour on anything always seems to make it stand out. Here we've got our beautifully baked fillet of fish with a crumb topping. I'm going to lie it here on the beans, <laughs> or maybe it has its own ideas. The beans create a little bed for the fish and will catch any unsightly watery drips. Then I'm going to add the fried lemon. With a final touch of chopped parsley, I think this fish dish looks appealing and exciting. What more could I do to it? Well, if I had some cherry tomatoes, I think a touch of red would be a great final addition. Have you ever dried herbs in the microwave? They turn out flat and crunchy, and it's very quick and easy to do. I want to try them as a garnish for the second idea. Cover a microwave safe bowl tightly with some plastic wrap or cling film. Then give it a drizzle of olive oil and rub it all over. Then grind or sprinkle on some salt, however you have it. And then pop on some flat leaved herbs. This is flat leaf parsley, but I'm sure it would work with basil or cilantro too. If you try it with some other herbs, let me know how you get on. Then put it in the microwave for one minute. You'll notice when they come out they're flat and almost crispy. You need to be gentle with them, but isn't it so cool? 
Let's plate up this idea. For this one, I'm going to paint some balsamic reduction onto a white plate. This has to be a light plate so we can create some contrast with the dark balsamic colour. Here I've got a fairly plain lemon and thyme risotto. I chose this because the sauce on the fish is so tasty it just needs something to soak it up. It also creates a base for the fish to sit on and so it gives the plate a little bit of height. Here's our creamy lemon fish ready to go on the plate. It still looks a bit bland so we need to add a few garnishes. Look how the colour from frying the lemon ties in with the balsamic reduction on the plate. I love how that's worked. Then I'm going to add a few dots of carrot puree here and there, keeping things in threes because odd numbers of things are more pleasing to the eye. To finish this off, I'm going to put on some of the dried parsley leaves for colour. What do you think of this idea? One thing I think I could have changed looking at it is to have added a layer of green beans between the risotto and the fish. Since the colour of the risotto and fish is so similar, it would have created some definition and the green would have tied in with the herb colour. Let's plate up the last idea. For this one, I'm going to put some of the bright orange puree onto a dark plate and drag a comb through it to create some texture on the plate. I want to make use of some negative space, so I'm only going to put food on one half of the plate. Then going with the odd numbers thing, I'm going to add three little blobs of risotto as a base for the fish to sit on. A little drizzle of the creamy lemon sauce will add a lovely flavour and the pale colour will contrast with the orange puree and black plate. Sometimes a few deliberate dots can really add to the look of a dish. Leaning the fish up against the risotto adds a bit of height to the plate instead of having everything flat. Now for some greenery. I'm going to add a line of parsley for visual appeal. This looks a bit like a piece of abstract art. Lastly, I'm going to add a few little pieces of lemon for extra flavour and a little pop of that charred brown colour. Well, I think this is another great idea for making bland fish look a bit more exciting. Let me know in the comments which style you liked best. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this one to see some ideas on how to plate spaghetti. After watching that, your spaghetti will never be boring again. See you over there.